me just undo my bubble. Much better, but I bet by the time I'm filming this, my curls are gone. Oh well. So, hi everyone. Today I am going to be talking about some of Laneige's new ish makeup products. It's probably not so new in Korea, but it's kind of new in Singapore, if I'm making any sense at all. So, anyway, I am going to be talking about the new Laneige layering foundation cushion and it is in this beautiful rose gold. I'll also be talking about some of the other new Laneige products that I've been playing with recently and what I think of them. Of course, if you happen to be watching this video and you'd like me to do a Laneige face kind of beauty video, I can try. I mean, I've never done it, but I would try. It's just that the lighting may suck because I'm probably gonna be gonna be filming before I go to work, if that ever happens. So, fair warning. Anyway, back to topic. Let's start off with this. So this just launched it launched in Singapore this weekend. Um, it's in a beautiful rose gold, like I mentioned. You can see my cam camera screen from here, in case you're wondering what the light is. And this is how the inside looks like. You do get a teardrop shape so it's a bit different i've taken out the cushion at the moment so it's not gonna fall off and this is how the inside looks like pretty cool i would say so this is where you get your regular foundation cushion and this is a part you know the cushion where you use your concealer for so this would be a bit thicker than what you get here but I would say in general what you're looking at is definitely um, more coverage than the regular BB cushion I do like it um, I've worn my makeup for probably 15 hours now or more and it still looks pre pretty good I'm not saying it doesn't with the regular BB cushion it's just that with more coverage it means using less concealer which is good I mean your skin needs to breathe and all right or at least that's what they preach okay so in general I do like the cushion I do think it's comparable to the regular cushion and if you do need a bit more coverage this would be perfect for you it works amazingly in Singapore my skin still looks pretty good though I may still like my Johnson Moo more um, but that's my personal preference but one thing I don't really like about it is the cushion part so let's talk about the cushion it I love the teardrop shape it does help with application this sponge is fine there is no issue with this it's this thing if my camera ever zooms on this part you know what let me just try I am tapping my screen now you know? You know? You know my screen always refuses to agree with me. But anyway, it has all these like it's like looking at a towel in case you're wondering. And no it's not zooming. But oh well. You get the gist. I guess you don't. I haven't said anything, but anyway, it looks kind of like a towel, as in this part of it. And what I don't like about it is if you kind of press too hard on your skin, you do get kind of the bristle marks. Are they called bristles? But basically, you get dots on your face, and I kind of have to touch it up with this bottom cushion, which, like I said, is fantastic. I just don't like this part. Why couldn't they have made the whole cushion the regular cushion? I don't know. But that's just one thing I don't like about it. If you don't have dark eye bags like me, this foundation is going to work great for you, especially with the concealer part. Um, it's great for day-to-day -day wear. If you need a bit more coverage, go in lightly with another concealer, not foundation. Um, and it would work perfectly. 
I do love this. It's just not my favorite foundation, if that makes any sense. Would I recommend you buy it? Sure. I love it. I think it's a good step up from the usual BB cushion, but who knows? You be the judge. I do like it. And maybe I should show you. Why am I talking and not showing? Who knows? But let's see if I can show you how horrendous this is. Like, oh, it's not gonna show because obviously you're not gonna see it. And like, it's kind of working on my skin and blending it. But basically, it's a sign. It's my skin tone and you can't see the brush marks. So basically, it feels, feels really, really good actually. I like how the concealer is not thick, so you can kind of lay on a bit more of it and it doesn't kind of crease your lid, like your under eyelids especially. So that's a good point, just in case you're wondering. Now let's get the glitter down. So I do have about three more products to just share with you very quickly that also come from Laneige. Some of them are not new, some of them are kind of new. I don't know. But I just thought it's boring to talk about one cushion, so I'm pulling everything in. So, the next one. So this is the Laneige Contouring Stick. It is triangular, prismatic, whatever you want to call it. So I do have trouble, especially with my under eye. My dark eye circles are insane. So I did get the pink coral version of it. It's a two-tone contouring stick. So you do get a dark salmon light color and a bottom peachy color to brighten. So the top part would definitely be more for covering dark circles. Honestly, I love Laneige, but I hate this. It does nothing to my skin. I've tried it more than five times absolutely nothing it feels like a moisturizer or almost like a primer but it doesn't do anything for my skin i swear you are better off getting the etude house sticks color contouring sticks you know the two-ended ones yeah you're definitely better off you're gonna get more payoff with that this just feels like a brightener. It doesn't really do much for my under eye. It's like additional product, but it doesn't save it. And more product means more creasing under your eyes. So not my favorite product, honestly. I don't want to talk too much about it. I do love the packaging though, but it's almost as if it's very reminiscent of Hourglass with their foundation sticks, but that's just me. And yeah not the best likewise you know it's we're talking a salmon peach color you're probably not gonna see it on camera oh you do see the salmony color and the brightly like pinky peachy color so do you see this here yeah that's what you get it feels really moisturizing it's like a pacey primer almost but honestly don't go for it no payoff to you there's no benefit to you or to me, at least. If it does to you, let me know. Maybe I'm using it wrong. But just say, not my favorite. I still love Laneige. Just this product doesn't work for me. Does not. So let's roll back to something more positive, to something I actually love. So I am insane over lipsticks. Lipsticks are one thing I can absolutely continue buying regardless of how many I have and when Laneige launched the matte two-tone lipsticks I went crazy or slightly crazy but I did tell myself to only buy one and I picked the shade number two which is red cashmere it took me a while because there's no English so this is how it looks like it's kind of a red, very, almost, almost like an MLBB color, I would say. And 
this is what it looks like. See? It's like a red lip, but it's still a very MLB color. What I like to do is to smudge it out at the edges to give your lips a softer look. Um, I'm not wearing it now, unfortunately, but I do love this color. It's something that looks amazing on me. But then again, red's totally my color. Just saying. And yeah, I totally recommend you buy it. it it's not entirely matte. It's actually more velvety, if I were to say. Not your longest lasting lipstick, if I'm honest, but it looks pretty... I'm, I mean, just touch it up. It gives you more excuse to finish a lipstick and buy new ones, right? Right. Well, that's me. And one last product I'm gonna, gonna talk about today is this. So this is the Ideal Blush Duo from Laneige, and this one you can actually see my screen. See, 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 see. Do you see my product? Is it Productception? Um, I'm being crazy. It's 11 p.m. and I am insane. So I still have this plastic here. Don't know why. But I thought it was really interesting because it has this minty color and this light peachy pink together. So it's called Peach Mint, in case you're wondering. Number-wise, you're looking at number two. Um, so it's number two peachy mint shade. I really got attracted by this mint part of it. I mean, how often do you see a mint blush? And But the funny thing is when you swatch it... Oh my gosh, I'm running out of space. Do you see it? It's actually mint. You don't see any pink. I thought it would be color changing. It's not. Um, but what I would say is that together, they kind of give a very natural blush look. On its own, don't do it. The mint does nothing for your skin. It's not color changing or anything special. But together, it gives a very light, very pale pink blush look. I don't like to use it on its own if I were to be honest. I would use a darker blush at the back and then just use this to blush up the front to give it a more natural finish. Um, how do I feel about this? It's okay. I was slightly disappointed that it wasn't color changing, but it was okay. Would I buy it again? No. No, no. I'm just gonna finish this and I'm done. But it was okay. The worst? This. I am never buying this again. I swear, I don't care what you think of me reviewing this product because it doesn't work for me unless I'm using it wrongly. Let me know. So, just to run through everything. I mean, it was only four products. You probably got it and you probably think I'm really long-winded. If you're here at this part of the video and you've watched till here, I love you so much. You've listened to me talk and talk and talk and talk like I usually do and I love you. I like, really. But alright, just quick review. The cushion, love it. I would probably buy another one of it. Um, I do use a concealer with it still because of my dark eye circles. Um, hate the tip of the sponge. Don't like this. But everything else is pretty and perfect and keeps my makeup looking great. And I haven't touched up in case you're wondering. For the past 15 hours, I still look pretty good in the mirror. Oh, that's why I went off camera in case you wondered. So yeah, I would recommend this. Just maybe check out the price on G Market, not Q10, G Market, where I think Amore Pacific sells authentic um, cushions. And then compare it with Singapore and buy the right one for you. Or if you have a discount on Zalora, use that. Saves you some money in case anyone's curious or anyone wants to save a couple of dollars. You know. This, I am not going to talk about this anymore. I think you know that I don't like this. I really don't. It smells good. Like smells way better than the Etude House one. Just doesn't work at all. 
no clue why that's happened. Lipstick, totally recommend. I would, in fact, I would recommend this shade. Such a perfect shade if you are into reds like me or into more MLBB colors like me. Got this shade. If not, no, it's really up to you. Last one. Oh my gosh, my hair is straightening up. But quick, very quick. Last one, the blush. The Ideal Blush Duo. It's kind of okay. Do you need to buy it? No. I will honestly get a stone under blusher. Lasts you way better. Um, more pigment, more color, lasts you the whole day. I would say if you had a choice, go with Star Nanda. They are kind of around the same price point, if I am correct. Maybe Star Nanda is a bit more pricey, but in any case, this, not really going to go for it again. Just pulling out something else, you can also consider the Clio blush. This is actually a pro multi face, so it can be an eyeshadow as well. In case you're wondering, it looks like that. I would say this gives you a lot more payout as well compared to this. If you're looking for a very natural blush, get it. It's gonna suit you. Don't expect anything magical from that mint part. I would say it's very close to the lipstick where it's almost so sheer, you don't get much color from it. Um, together, a very light blush shade. Like, I haven't said that already and my hair needs to start getting into my eyes. But in any case, you get my drift. If you like pigment, this may not be the blush for you. If you like something a bit more natural, go for it. Two thumbs up. So I think that's it. That's it for today's video. If you've watched it here, I really, really love you. And if you do want me to do kind of a full face with all my Laneige makeup, I am short of some stuff in case you're wondering, but I will do my best to do most of my face with Laneige and let you know what I think. If you want that, let me know. I will try to do that, like I said, at the start of the video. I will be filming on the way to work, before I work. So my lighting may look crappy, but it will be the same setup, it will be the same me, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Earrings are gone, it's already hurt. The worst part of every video, taking off makeup, especially with... Uh, no. I have the worst angles when it comes to my video. How is it I can take a picture but not a video? Huh? Tell me. Anyway.